in the uh, one of the slides you presented, uh, where there was uh, you compare the percentage and then ammonia cooked by uh, Senegal uh, to that of uh, Mauritania. I, I I don't know whether I got you right. It's like you said it was based on two vessels. I mean, was it based on uh, a standard number of vessels? I mean, I, I, I don't seem to get it. I want to understand whether it has to do with the agreement in its entirety or based on a specific number of vessels for those two countries. And then for my, uh, we all know naturally that uh, it's on the surface that you should allow other nations to access. But who would all agree with me here and for most countries, we do not, uh, we're not even in, in, in a position to estimate the surplus because you might have done a comprehensive assessment and then you know what is your maximum sustainable yield and you know what your surplus, you know what um, is needed by the country. So how can we address that? I mean, we see big nations like the European Union coming in to uh, negotiate to have access to our resources. These are some of the countries that we sometimes go, go to when there are financial difficulties. One would expect that morally we should have been in the position to say, well, I think I can negotiate with this country until, I cannot negotiate with this country, country until they are able to estimate their surplus. So as uh, developing countries, how can we go about uh, addressing that particular issue? Thank you.